I'd like to know when the kids are home from school without having to call up and check. I'd like my phone to tell me if there's a traffic jam ahead. Congestion alert. Turn off at next exit. I use instant messenger a lot. It'd be much easier if I am worked on phones and TVs as well as computers, but only when I want it. I'd like to have some kind of map facility on my phone that shows me where my friends are. It'd be nice if the kids could watch their favorite TV show when we drive down to see my parents. It's apparent that next generation communications technologies have finally reached a point where they could truly revolutionize people's lives. But in order for carriers and service providers to help consumers and enterprises really take advantage of this revolution, they're going to need something which not only ties the network and the applications that run over it together, but also allows them to personalize those services. And today, that something is called IMS. To understand IMS, you really need to understand the context of blended lifestyle applications and the requirements that end users have regarding personalization. IMS enables anywhere, anytime communications, real-time communications for any set of devices across any network and does so to the end user requirements. If it delivers on, on its promises, then it's going to result in a very much lower cost environment for creating and deploying applications. And that means they can deploy a lot more applications, they can experiment with applications, um, and they can find the applications that actually generate revenue. The benefits of IMS to service providers is really to reduce time to market, to reduce time to revenue, to increase customer loyalty, reduce customer churn, and create new value for end users and for the telecom industry as a whole. The first step for service providers looking to deploy IMS is to understand the business case for this technology. Specifically, they need to understand what types of IMS service are going to see the fastest uptake and with what types of user. I think from the point of view of uh, end users, from the point of view of consumers and enterprises, the biggest benefit of IMS potentially is that it allows you to blend features from different applications and create new kinds of services which are more personalized, which are more convenient to use. Uh, and that also has benefits from the point of view of the service provider because they have one platform to provide those applications and features across that boundary. We've done extensive market research across multiple continents, 900 plus consumers, 900 plus enterprises. And what that research reveals is that there is real demand for IMS-enabled applications, and that there are two key drivers for this demand. One is the lifestyle enhancement from a consumer perspective, and productivity from an enterprise perspective. Lucent's market research also drills down into the IMS opportunity. Specifically, it identifies two key opportunities in the consumer market. First, selling lifestyle applications to young single users who are most interested in buying bundle packages and tend to be very cost sensitive. Second, selling them to power users, a smaller group, but one that tends to be less price sensitive and to have a higher proportional take-up rate. Lucent's research also identifies the most significant opportunities in the enterprise or business market. The first is selling IMS apps to companies that require a high level of interaction among internal groups combined with a mobile workforce. We have a UK field sales force of about 100 people and we're on the road four days out of five. We would need to have um, a laptop, a mobile phone, a Blackberry. What would be really handy would be to have a device which does everything, you know, takes the best bits of, of all those of all those great inventions and, and pulls them together. Um, and you know that that would make my life a lot easier. The second big opportunity in the enterprise market is with companies that have a very high level of customer interaction, for example, utilities and real estate. I think for enterprises, the big benefit lies in productivity in, in the widest sense, in, in that IMS allows you to build new applications and new features into applications. For example, you can transfer applications across different devices. You can create uh, features such as presence, which is a really important aspect of IMS and is likely to be very heavily used by business users to just make for a, a more connected environment, both within the organization and with customers. Enterprise organizations are really looking to enable collaboration across their employee base across many different networks, many different devices. What IMS allows them to do is to be able to deliver applications in a managed OPEX environment. 
IMS has the potential to transform telecommunications, I think, because it's likely to shift the focus away from infrastructure provision towards services and applications provision. It's a much better environment for that, and it's exactly in line with what service providers actually need today. So IMS has the potential to revolutionise not just the telecom market, but our everyday lives. IMS, coming soon to a network and a service near you.